Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, I said I would make these videos every three days. Kind of show progress that's going on to the house here at Mundelein. Calling it Grandma's Rehab. Uh, dumpster's almost it's getting there. At least now it's not such a waste of money. I was kind of nervous if it took off empty. It was a $500 loss for no reason, but it's getting there. I somehow developed more steel. It's probably just going to go in the dumpster. I'm tired of playing that game. Well, let's go inside and see what's going down. Alright. <laughs> All right. It's scary in here. As you can see, it seems to have gotten worse than better. Uh, this is that wall that was the kitchen was at. It's gone. Go around the corner. All the drywall is demoed. Notice we get these bins here. I'll explain that in a minute. Come around to the bedrooms. Have our bathroom framed. So basically the toilet's gonna go where that white tub is at. Vanity will go right there, obviously. I uh, still haven't framed this wall for the bathroom yet. Because it just gonna be a burden right now okay we also didn't frame the closet wall here this entryway for the closet to go to the window it's a lot of work in this house a real lot of work like for example to do the windows all these bushes got to go that spans like five feet that's a lot of bushes to get out of here another quick thing I want to talk about <clears throat> when a lot of my uncles and aunts are talking and they're all saying well why is he taking it all apart taking all the insulation all the drywall off well, it's quite easy after you take the drywall off we found some walls were insulated like this is my grandma's bedroom in the back corner notice how the insulation is all the way to the ceiling this is the stuff we've already replaced it goes all the way to the ceiling tucks in tight this is the rest of it. Notice how this is so old. It's R11, it's not enough R value. It's sagging. So that whole eight to 10 inches doesn't, it's not even insulated. Some bats are just completely empty. I mean, that one's 12 inches. That one's a little more or a little less. The framing on this window is wrong. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be redone to be correct. Carry the weight of the snow on the roof. That's a big deal. It's a real big deal. Uh, we come into the bathroom laundry area. This is all gutted as well. Pretty soon we'll have to get rid of these, this wall here so we can bring it back for the washer and dryer. And to make the opening here for the bathroom. Notice this is also not done correctly. Uh, and this door is only 24 inches wide. Kind of hard to get your little scooter through there. Uh, one of the biggest projects that we got done this week that I am super, super happy. I had an old friend of mine from kindergarten, actually, Conky. Everybody in my family knows Conky came and he helped out with removing all of the cast iron that we saw outside the toilet's gone the big stack going outside is gone real clutch situation because i need to fix all of these holes in the wall and the floor is completely rotted all the way past the toilet Yesterday, though, it was a rain day. Pretty nice outside, I guess you could say. 
I had uh, my cousin Jaime had the day off from work. And one of my good buddies, my other good buddy, Steve-O, came by. Anybody who knows me for long enough knows Steve-O because we used to be yin and yang. But they were able to get a lot of the basement cleared out. It doesn't look like much, but when you have to go up and down these steps and crawl around in here, it's a crap load. It's tiring. Beat your body up. The smell down here, the mold, the moisture, it's cold down here. It just sucks.